Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Wednesday, March 29th. Before we begin, I don't know if you can tell from my voice, but I'm still suffering a bit from a cold, so if I start coughing or I have to take a drink uh, to keep going, I hope you don't mind. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 29. The third note continued. This joy is a divine gift, coming from union with God in Christ. It is still there even in times of darkness and difficulty, giving cheerful courage in the face of disappointment and an inward serenity and confidence through sickness and suffering. Those who possess it can rejoice in weakness, insults, hardship, and persecutions for Christ's sake. For when we are weak, then we are strong. Merciful God, you have made your church rich through the poverty of blessed Francis. Help us like him not to trust in earthly things, but to seek your heavenly gifts through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. O come, let us worship. The Jubilate be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 119, beginning at the 145th verse. I call with my whole heart. Answer me, O Lord, that I may keep your statutes. I call to you, O oh, that you would save me. I will keep your decrees. Early in the morning I cry out to you, for in your word is my trust. My eyes, <coughs> my eyes are open in the night watches that I may meditate upon your promise. Hear my voice, O Lord, according to your loving kindness, According to your judgments give me life. They draw near who, ta who in malice persecute me. They are very far from your law. You, O Lord, are near at hand, and all your commandments are true. Long have I known from your decrees that you have established them forever. Behold my affliction and deliver me, for I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and redeem me according to your promise. Give me life. Deliverance is far from the wicked, for they do not study your statutes. Great is your compassion, O Lord. Preserve my life according to your judgments. There are many who persecute and oppress me, yet I have not swerved from your decrees. I look with loathing at the faithless, for they have not kept your word. See how I love your commandments. O Lord, in your mercy preserve me. The heart of your word is truth. All your righteous judgments endure forevermore. Rulers have persecuted me without a cause, but my heart stands in awe of your word. I am as glad because of your promise as one who finds great spoils. But as for lies, I hate and abhor them, but your law is my love. Seven times a day do I praise you because of your righteous judgments. Great peace have they who love your law, for them there is no stumbling block. I have hoped for your salvation, O Lord. I have fulfilled your commandments. I have kept your decrees, and I have loved them deeply. I have kept your commandments and decrees, for all my ways are before you. Let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your promise. My lips shall pour forth your praise when you, preach, when you teach me your statutes. My tongue shall sing of your promise, for all your commandments are righteous. Let your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your commandments. I long for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my delight. 
Let me live, and I will praise you, and let your judgments help me. I have gone astray like a sheep that is lost. Search for your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. <coughs> Lord, you are just, and your commandments are eternal. Teach us to love you with all our heart, and to love our neighbor as ourselves. For the sake of Jesus our Lord. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ According to John Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, Very truly I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in by another way, is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved, and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because the hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the Good Shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own accord. I have the power to lay it down, and I have the power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. With confidence and trust, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. We pray for the Church throughout the world, for the Anglican Communion, the Anglican Church of Canada, the province of Rupert's Land, the Diocese of Brandon, and this parish of St. Matthew. For the one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church throughout the world, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. We pray for our leaders. We pray for Bishop William, our Metropolitan Greg, our National Indigenous Archbishop Chris, our Primate Linda, and the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin. For the mission of the Church, that in faithful witness it may preach the gospel to the ends of the earth, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those preparing for baptism and for their teachers, 
parents, and sponsors. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the world. For Yemen, Sudan, Somalia, Nigeria, Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq, and Iran, Palestine, Israel, North and South Korea, Russia, Ukraine, China, Taiwan, and the United States. That a spirit of respect and re reconciliation may grow among nations and peoples. <coughs> we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the poor, for the homeless, and for the, those in poverty, for the persecuted, for those who will suffer from systemic racism and prejudice, the sick, those in our hospital, our nursing homes, any waiting surgery, recovering from it, or suffering from other long-term health issues, mental health issues, addictions, or isolation. For refugees, prisoners, and all in danger, that they may be relieved and protected, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all whom we have injured or offended, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For grace to amend our lives and to further the reign of God, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. In our prayers for the Third Order this morning, we pray for the province of the Americas, for Central America, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Panama. We pray for Christine, Joseph, Bet, Gretchen, Linda, Nancy, Estelle, Eileen, Jack, Marta, and our companions in various vocations in the Third Order. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray, that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis and win others to your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, your Son came into the world to free us from all sin and death. Breathe upon us with the power of your Holy Spirit, that we may be raised to new life in Christ and serve you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. <coughs> For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. <coughs> Excuse me. Amen. May our Blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May our Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace. Amen. <laughs>